In today's video, I wanted to give you a few tips when it comes to getting professional photos taken for your website. So I'm going to be doing a personal brand photo shoot, taking you behind the scenes and showing you exactly what you need to do and what you need to remember when doing a professional shoot. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about creating an amazing website and building your online business. So if that is something that you need some help with, make sure that you hit subscribe down below and that you hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. All right, so it's time to do a photo shoot. So step number one is to create an inspiration board on Pinterest. So Pinterest is a really great tool that you can use to easily create inspiration boards. So all you need to do is come up here to the search bar and type in whatever type of photo shoot that you're doing. So for example, I could type in office photo shoot and this is going to bring up all of these gorgeous examples which are going to give me some ideas for the type of poses that I want to do, what I might want to wear, and what the background is. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and save photos that I really like to a new inspiration board. So here's the inspiration board that I created. So this is really great to take to the photographer so they have an idea of the type of photos that you're going for. Second, you want to find an amazing photographer that specializes in personal branding photography. Lucky for me, my biz BFF Jill of Sounds Like Yellow Photography is an amazing photographer and is very experienced doing personal branding photo shoots. All right, so third is to decide on the setting. I recommend that you actually just get the photographer to come to your home. Most of us are working from home, so we either have our home office or we have a cute couch that we work from. That's fine too. Another option would be to go to the photographer's studio. They might have a nice setup. So check that, but just know that you can absolutely just get the photographer to come to your house and get your shots there. In my case, I'm traveling, I don't even have a home, I'm at Jill's house, and lucky for me, she has a super cute green couch, which is one of my brand colors, so it's all working out. And once you've decided on your setting, the next thing that you need to do is just get a few little add-ons that are on brand and are really going to add to the setting. So let me explain that one a little more. So for example, check out all these super cute little knickknacks that Jill has all around her house. It's actually super convenient for me. I love plants, I love coffee. So these are just little things that you can add into your setting to make it feel more on brand. So you might need to go out you know, to your local store and buy a few little things, um, but this is really going to add a lot to your photos. And then you'll also want to have a few props that you can pose with as well. And ideally, these are things that convey what you do in some way. So for example, I'm always talking about my love of coffee, so it makes sense that I have a coffee mug. And another really great one is my planner, my favorite notebook, and my laptop. All right, so next is your outfit. So with this, it's really important Good that- quote. What? <gasps> Next is <laughs> You should! Number four is your outfit. <laughs> so it's super important that these are comfortable and that it matches the vibe of your brand. With this, I would just say bring a ton of different options and you can mix and match with the photographer when you arrive on set. All right, so fifth is your hair and makeup. I absolutely think that it is worth the investment to hire a professional hair and makeup artist. It helps so much, your confidence is going to go up and you're just gonna feel like a million bucks. Today, don't judge my hair and makeup, I had to do it myself, but in most cases, if I was doing a full shoot, I would hire someone so that I could look extra special. And a few other things not to forget, you absolutely want to get your nails done and you also want to bring a bunch of different jewelry options so that you have those as well. <laughs> Number six is to prep the music. So I recommend coming up with a playlist of all your favorite songs that get you really pumped up. And finally, we have your poses. But don't worry about this, you already have your inspiration board, which is going to help a lot, and your photographer will be there and directing you 
telling you what to do. So um, let me introduce you to Jill. And then can you take a seat right here for me? Right mm -hmm. on the end? Yeah. Perfect. And then actually can you switch to your laptop? Mm -hmm. Against it? Yeah. Lean again, lean towards me. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome. I like the, the arm down. Yep. Another quick, really important thing to note is that you want your photographer to shoot wide, horizontal photos for you so that you can get those beautiful, full width photos on your website. And it's really important to get some photos with some clear space next to you so that you can put some text. All right guys, so that's it. Those are my best tips for taking professional website photos. If you would like help creating your actual gorgeous website, I can absolutely help you with that. Click the link below this video and you can sign up for a free trial of my online course, Website That Wows. And if you like this video, don't forget to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. I messed up that in part. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.